how to solve this problem 2 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power x equals to 14. From here, let's change everything on the left hand side here to have the same base. So this is 2 raised to power x, then plus 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power x, to plus 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power x, then equals to 14. And from here, we can write this again. Taking x inside and uh, 2 outside, also taking x inside, 3 outside. So we have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x, then all raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power x, then all raised to power 3 equals to 14. And uh, we have 2 raised to power x, 2 raised to power x, common here. So let's use a letter. So let a letter t now be equals to 2 raised to power x and when we write this again from here we replace 2 raised to power x as t and this will become t plus t square plus t cube equals to 14 and uh, we can use this to form a cubic equation and take everything to this side when we rearrange we have t raised to power 3 plus t raised to power 2 plus t then minus 14 will give us 0 equals to 0 now from here in this cubic equation at least we must have a resolution from here the factors of 14 here one of them must be a solution then we start from 1 plus or minus 1 to then 7 then 14 now if we check which one when we substitute we give us 0 so the one that give us 0 is the root now for t equals to 1 when we substitute t equals to 1 t is 1 then 1 raised to the power 3 is 1 plus 1 square is t1 plus 1 minus 14 this is equals to minus 11 which is not equals to 0 so this is not equal to 0 that means 1 is not a root now let's substitute 2 t is equal to 2 so t which is 2 2 raised to the power 3 that's 8 plus 2 raised to the power 2 that's 4 plus 2 then minus 14 this one is 14 yeah 8 plus 4 plus 2 that's 14 minus 14 that's 0 so that means t equals to 2 is a root here yeah. Then that means we have t minus 2 will be a factor which is t minus 2 equals to 0. Now to get other factors from here, we can use synthetic division. When we use synthetic division from here, then we can use this 2 to divide. So using 2 to divide the polynomial, we have 2 we divide now. And the coefficient of the polynomial, this is how to use synthetic division. We have the coefficient 1, 1, 1, then minus 14. So we write it out. We have the coefficient, which is 1, 1, 1, then minus 14. Then we drop the first one, which is this one. Then use this 2 to multiply the 1. 2 times 1, that's 2. We write it here. Then we add this together. 1 plus 2, that's 3. Then multiply again. 2 times 3, that's 6. We write it here. Then we add this together. 1 plus 6, that's 7. Then 2 times 7, that's 14. We add this together. That will give us 0. So this confirms that this 2 here is a root. Then the remaining quadratic you know, equation, we have this coefficient 1, 3, then 7 in terms of t now because the variable there is t. So we have t which is t square, the coefficient is 1, plus 3t, then plus 7, we then be equal to 0. So, this is the quadratic equation left here. Then, that means the polynomial has been reduced to this quadratic equation times this other factor, which is t minus 2, 
when this multiply we have reduced that uh, polynomial to this form then from here we have two possible cases we have t minus 2 equals to 0 or we have t square plus 3t plus 7 equals to 0 from here already we know that t is equals to 2 when we take minus 2 here so t equals to 2 and from here we can confirm whether here whether we have a resolution here we can use the recriminant b square minus 4ac and uh, b a here is equals to 1 b is equals to 3 and uh, c is equals to 7 when we put this here the discriminant will give us b square which is 3 square minus 4 times a that's 1 times c that's 7 and when we do this this is 9 then we multiply 4 times 7 that's 28 Clearly here, yeah, this is less than 0. So we are not going to have a resolution from here. Then from t equals to 2, we represented t as 2 raised to power x, then equals to 2. Then we can take the power here as well to be 1. So 2 raised to power 1 here. Yeah. Then the base are equal here, we can equate the power and x equals to 1. So from here, we have the solution as x equals to 1. And this is the end of the problem. Thank you for watching. Also subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.